Dear students, in this video, we are going to introduce the last ATPG technique, the set base ATPG technique. The set base ATPG is a Boolean based method to solve the ATPG problem. Because the ATPG problem is essentially a certifiability problem. So we can simply convert the test generation problem into a certifiability problem. So how can we do that? We can create a duplication of two circuits. One is the good circuit, the other one is the faulty circuit. And we inject our fault into this faulty circuit. These two circuits share the same input and we take the output of these two circuits and we exclusive or them to create a one. If we can find an input such that the output is equal to one, then we successfully find a test pattern because the good output and the faulty output are different. This machine is very useful, so we call this a miter. If we want to use satisfiability to solve the ATPG problem, then we need to encode our circuit into Boolean formulas. So how can we do that? In 1966, Tsai Ting has proposed a transformation that convert the circuit into Boolean formula. In this figure, we show CNF transformation for six different kinds of basic logic gates. For example, for this N gate, if output Z is 1, then z bar is zero. To satisfy this clause, then x must be one. Similarly, if z is one, then the second clause would require y to be one. On the contrary, if z is equal to zero, then either x can be zero or y can be zero. So as long as we satisfy these three clauses, then we can find a correct assignment for this end gate. This is the same for the other five different gates. The testing transformation is linear time and we generate a linear number of clause and the literals for the circuit. Now let's see an example. Suppose we want to generate a test for this circuit. F stuck at 1 4 is sitting here. First of all, we need to create a faulty copy for this circuit. The gray circuit corresponds to a faulty circuit. In this circuit, we force the signal F to be 1. This is a stuck at 1, 4. Please note that the inverter and the end gate has been removed from the faulty circuit because they are not needed when we convert this faulty circuit into CNF. Finally, we take the good output, which is big X, and the faulty output, which is small x, into a miter. As long as we can find an input assignment that satisfies t equal to 1, then we find the test pattern. So this is our CNF. The top four clauses 
correspond to the faulty circuit. These three crosses are the OR gate, and the F is stuck at one. The middle part correspond to the good circuit. So this is an inverter, and this is the OR gate, and this correspond to the N gate. Finally, the last five clauses correspond to the exclusive OR gate. And the T must be 1. So we solve this Boolean formula and we can find a good test pattern. Now it's time for you to do a practice. Given this example circuit, we need to write the CNF to generate a test for K stuck at 1, 4. In this particular example, we don't actually need the mitre circuit. We just need to find the inputs such that K is equal to 0. Please now pause the video and write the CNF. Okay, have you done yet? So here are our answers. These three correspond to the OR gate. This is the inverter. And these three correspond to the N gate. And finally, this is the NOR gate. Of course, K must be zero. Okay, the conclusion. Set-based STPG has some advantage since the set engine is making big progress recently. So we can find solution very efficiently. And the second advantage is that a set engine can prove untestable fault if the CNF formula is unsatisfiable. And it will give us evidence. But the problem with the set-based ATPG is that it does not allow don't care in the input. And the second problem is that we need to reduce CNF every time when we inject a new target fault. The third problem is that it does not preserve the circuit structure information. And finally, it's difficult for multiple value logic such as high impedance Z. This is why in practice commercial ATPG tools seldom use set-based algorithm. So this is our lecture.